Yeah, we take a detailed look at Cone KCE. KCE is a replacement for LCE. I've got very mixed opinions on this, since LCE is one of the best lift logics ever invented. In fact, it is the best modern day lift logic. The only lift logic has better than Schindler and Myconic and some of the real classic old ones. For modern day logic, LCE does things that other logics can't. And when I say by that, you, that sounds like it's high level, but it's not. The thing that's so good about LCE is it's low level. Low level meaning closer to binary. It feels like it's been programmed in assembly. If it wasn't well it still has that feel which is so good because when you press a button on it it responses instant and that epic assembly feel just makes it so intuitive and nice to use when most logics feel like they're running on an operating system and are absolutely painful with lots of delays lc was perfection by design and it works so well with all of the equipment it interfaces with it's just so many good things i can say about it but lc has been replaced with kce so what do i think about kce well after finally having a chance to experiment with one it doesn't seem that much different in its operation it still interfaces with most of the equipment that LCE interfaces with so for that reason it's very very similar and works in a pretty same way but it's quite a few differences because the whole logic is redesigned I'll come on to some of these differences later but let's start this video off by a demonstration of the main features of it here's a new logic this is your new inspection that's like a, a, an emergency stop these are your various test modes we don't know what the numbers mean yet that lights up when the lift's at a door zone, and there your controls to run the lift up and down. Boost, we don't know what that does. Set up, we don't know what that does, and that's over speed governor test. We've got landing door bypass, car door bypass, and unintended movement test. That is not in use because it doesn't have a title on it. So let's put it into inspection, and let's put landing door bypass on. And now we can drive. So we press these two buttons like normal. And the lift starts to drive away. No safety bypass or anything needed, just that switch. Now I'm going to start driving it down and we'll see when it gets to a door zone. The LED should illuminate in the unlocking zone. So we're now at the unlocking zone. We get an audible alarm. And the LED lights up. We've got a test mode, so let's put it in testing. So now it's in test mode. So now, if we press boost, we don't know what that does. And then if we press o OSG, over speed governor, you'll hear the governor click. The governor has now been tripped. To reset the governor, press and hold the reset button. And different mode. Hold it. There we go. So that's the reset. It's reset now. So we can just relay it. Put it back to run. Put it back to land our bypass. That's comes the inspection control. And now let's surf the lift. Notice that KC has a new inspection control. This inspection control feels cheap and nasty compared to the old cone inspection control. But notice it's got two go buttons. One for slow speed at about 0.05 meters a second and one for faster speed at 0.3 meters a second. This is slow speed on the inspection control. You see it's really slow. Fast <laughs> speed? Fast speed. And that's just effectively normal inspection speed. New MX seven, so it's a new series of eco disc. Always looking quite cheap. The battery bear looks cheap. Let's see if it wobbles. Yep, yeah, eco disc wobbles. Yeah. 
This is now movable, so I can move it off it and magnetise it wherever. This has magnets on the back of it. There's a car top light installed. Um, but something that's missing is I have the button to the car top light. Doors closing. And now, let's free fall the lift. One thing I really do not like about KCE is it no longer has a physical handle that pulls a cable that releases the brake. It's now electronic. I do not like electronic brake release because brake release is the final thing you do if all else fails. If all electronics fail, you should have a physical, mechanical way to release the brake. And having electronic brake release goes against that principle. So for brake release, switch that over, pressing all the two buttons. No, it's coming up. And we'll stop it, so it's still within our reach if anything's gone wrong. Stick it back to normal, and we'll drive it back down using the RDF control. Sometimes you just have to reset it all if you've done something. No way the lift goes. And now we take a look at the menus. The menus on KC have been completely redesigned from LCE. On LCE, after a lot of effort and finding out a lot of very hard to get hold of information, we did work out how all the menus work. Now I haven't yet done a detailed look at LCE. I've done a detailed look at EcoDisc, but not LCE, so I need to do that. But as for KCE, we don't have a clue how the menus work. But hopefully some point in the future, we will work it all out. So stay tuned. As for now, here's a very quick demonstration of a few bits of KCE we did manage to work out. Okay, some of the menus are the same, some are different. So, go up. So, fault logs E. Three is normally floor names. And the same as so floor one. So, if we go up to floor four, it's obviously floor three because the ID one is zero, two is one. So, four is obviously three. Then you can rename it. So, floor three. We've got four characters we can have now. And previously it was in. We can have all our different. So let's have that letter N. Oh, we've well, we oh, got four characters. So floor four is now called floor AC. So now let's call the lift and see if that works. Interesting point, notice that LC can have three digit floor names and KC can have four digit floor names but this particular indicator can only have two digit floor names. Also for some weird reason the lift does a light test 60 seconds after it rebooted, what a weird time to do it. So first we need to reset our floor names, so that's menu 3, floor ID 3, no floor ID 4 because it's floor actual 3. And we're going to change the first digit to be back to three again. Next digit is going to be how do, how do I find the blank digit? So menu one. I don't know what menu one. Does. So menu two has been inspection. Menu five. It's a load of settings. I don't know what those do either. Menu nine. You have to put an inspection for menu 9. Menu E is obviously fault log. And it tells you your faults. Menu 2 has to be an inspection. So that'll do. Oh, Ben. Now, oh, Ben. So that's the VF settings now. So that's the VF settings. I don't know what the settings yeah, are. So I don't have a clue, but I can't change any of these settings, so I don't know how they work. But that is your VF settings. Now, if we go to menu 9, that was also. 9 is also the F settings. 
So that's menu 9. So 9, 8. Sadly, I do not have a clue how that works. 8 is 0, but I don't. So I can't change that settings. So I don't know how it works. Menu 2 is VF. So on your first generation, you this menu 2 was VF. Then it switched to menu 6, but on KCE, it's gone back to how it used to be in menu 2 being VF drive. I, sadly, I cannot alter that setting because I don't have a clue what it does, so I can't touch it. I really want to find out. So menu 4. It's got lots of settings in menu 4. Don't know what that says. 420's 31. I've got no idea why. One day I'll get a manual and I'll be able to explain all the settings, but for now, I cannot tell you how these settings work. Oh, that's nice. Oh, interesting. So, to conclude the video, KCE in some ways is very similar to LCE. It has to interface with the same equipment LCE has to interface with, and some parts of KCE seem as intuitive as LCE. Interestingly, KCE has very easy safety bypass, which is very odd. But, in some ways, KCE is not as good as LCE. It seems a lot more high level, it takes ages to boot up, and some features on it don't seem as instant or intuitive. LC has that real assembly feel to it, and the instant action as you get as you press the buttons is so much nicer. Cone and some of the engineers online, which are Cone arse lickers, claim that KCE was a necessary update to the old LC, but I disagree. I think LC was better. To put it simply, LC was very close to being a perfect lift logic. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it and no need to replace it. As the saying goes, if something's not broke, don't fix it. Thank you.